My name is Victoria Taylor Roberts and I am wearing a vivid blue v-neck top, um, some fabulously faded denim jeans and some rubbish looking um, brown suede shoes. I am literally on the second last chapter of um, my novel and it's a debut novel. It's the first time I've written a full novel um, and I'm doing that um, whilst I also um, address some great notes that I got from the Royal Court Theatre on the play that I developed with Wellspring called Merineum about um, two teenagers who encounter each other in a dire moment in the woods. Um, and I got some great notes back from the Royal Court for that. So I'm developing that because I want to find a home for um, Merineum. I think it's a great play. Um, and doing the novel um, in between, and in between that, I'm working on some notes that I got back from a development executive for a feature film. I am pitching to them, and half a dozen other things. As I said, I am eclectic. It's what you get for being a bit dyspraxic and ADHD, is that you want to juggle six things. That Why carry one when you can juggle six? I see my um, neurodiversity as a superpower. I am um, dyspraxic. Um, and I am undiagnosed ADHD. I've developed really high coping strategies, so I get the benefit of the superpower of having that hyper-focus and then having that um, essence plastic view of the world where you bring everything in and stick it into one box. Um, those, are the, those are the things that you get as superpowers once you develop the coping strategies to deal with the weak spots of neurodiversity. Theatre is unlike screen in the fact that although it's very carefully plotted out and it's revised and it's r and d again and again and again, in that moment when you hand it over to the actors, to the performers, it becomes urgent. It becomes about now. I think there are very particular stories in theatre that I would like to see. And I think that it's about representation and I think it's... Um, constantly pushing the representation that's fallen out of fashion. We get so carried away um, with um, the new waves of, of what's fashionable to discuss that we forget the long-standing issues. I do think that women are still really unrepresented um, as, as cognitive humans, as complex people, people that are not attachments or accessories. Um, I still go see a lot of theatre now that's newly written theatre and still feel as though um, that stereotype is played out again and again and I think that for me I want to see more parity um, in the stories. I need to be allowed to put something controversial on that stage and have people absorb it and disagree with it. Um, or agree with it. Go away, pull, you know, get that pint in the pub afterwards and rail at how um, I, I misbetrayed society or how I'd hit the nail on the head and got it perfectly. You don't have to like the theatre you go and see, but it's an experience. So allow me to write my truth. Allow me to write the thing that I think is socially relevant at the time and allow me that difference of opinion.